crucial Pac-10 conference matchup. Washington Huskies on the road in unfriendly duck country. A great way to kick off the season next. We come to you today from the Willamette Valley here in the state of Oregon. We are in Eugene, another sellout crowd expected at Autzen Stadium, but that's nothing new here. It, it's a rivalry and a huge one. It's not Oregon, Oregon State. It's not Washington, Washington State. It might be more intense. Well, it dates back to about 1948 when Oregon and Cal tied for the conference. A vote was going to determine who went to the Rose Bowl. The deciding vote went to the Washington Huskies. Oregon thought that their Northwest brother would stick with them. Instead, they voted for Cal. As you can imagine, the fans were very upset, and to this day, the fans hate each other. A lot of venom, Barry. A lot of venom. Have it, some fun. Yeah, it really is. It is a hostile rivalry, Josh. Almost as much, according to Mike Bellotti, as you look at Ty Willingham, almost as much as the Civil War. Ty Willingham. The toss they deferred. The Huskies will get the ball first. It is Matt Evenson to kick it away. Kicking it deep into the end zone, and the freshman, Jordan Pope, will not have a chance. Reed himself thought he was the guilty party. Penalties declined, down to be four. You saw the skill position players. The running back, Jeremiah Johnson, back after a knee injury, suffered last year. Mayo comes in motion, play fake, pitch this time to Mayo. Mayo at the 40, 45, midfield and into Washington territory at the 46. Secondary inexperience. Give this time to Johnson. First time. Big hole. Look out. He may be gone. 30 to the 20 to the 15. Cuts it back to the 10. To down inside the five-yard line at about the four. Two big plays by the Ducks. 44 yards. Marion Jones, a linebacker, had to chase Jeremiah Johnson all the way down. Just a pretty simple zone play. The hole is gaping wide. This is a very inexperienced front for Washington, and they showed it on that play. Splits very big for Oregon, and Johnson looking pretty good coming off that knee surgery. Very good all-around back and a fantastic way to start the season. Here. Might have a free play here. The give is to Johnson. He spins into the end zone. Touchdown. They made that look awfully easy. Is that Justin Roper or Dennis Dixon down there? Now he's 6'6. He's not that fast and he's not that elusive and he's not On the Dennis defense, Dixon. Number 49. Penalties decline. Touchdown stands. But he certainly went out there and ran that offense with great efficiency. All the different things that we've seen Oregon work under Chip Kelly, offensive coordinator, worked on this drive, and they look fantastic. This is a very difficult offense to learn, especially in practice, because of the way they play so fast with the no huddle. And you see how fast Washington had to scramble to get lined up. Here's a little bubble screen this time. Look out. Terrence Scott, he's got some room. It's a foot race. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. He's gone. Touchdown, Oregon. 60 yards. Just got done telling you how fast they play. Terrence Scott got done. Mike Pilate is very high on a JC guy. Pretty light, only 170 pounds. Not a giant guy, 5'11. You're going to see him coming across your screen in that middle screen, just a small middle screen, just right up the hash. And the speed to take it to the house. They spread out Washington so wide, and the space is so very vast. One edge really coming with it, and Will Tukuafu is a guy that when he wants to can really fight through some things, and that is a fantastic athletic play going right by Haben, and you see the strength just reaching out that giant arm and pulling down maybe one of the strongest quarterbacks in the country along with Tebow, Jake Locker. Locker is having a tough... Petros, let's take another look at this run. Well, this is the option that worked so well last year with Dixon and Stewart. There you're going to see these guys frozen in the interior line. And Jeremiah Johnson and Harper running it just like Dixon and Stewart, except it's a senior and a true freshman. Freezing the two interior defensive linemen. They don't know which guy to take, the tailback or the quarterback. And they just freeze. He gives and Jeremiah Johnson to the house. Pick off the two-yard line. It's fumbled by Richardson. He's got to get it out of there. And he does start out now, trying to get to the outside. And he's not going to be able to do it. The Huskies are going to start deep 
in their own territory. He's kind of green dogging with his blitzes, which means he's hesitating, hesitating, and then he sees an opening and fires there. You see him just a quick hesitation, and Osai looks away from him, and then he gets into the backfield and gets a good hit on Locker. Nice sack. There's Bird feeling the punt at the 12 yard line. Look out. Bird at the 25 30. The kicker, the man to beat him, he won't do it. There's the block that he needed. Will he be caught from behind? Yes. At about the 38 yard line. 51 yard return by Bird. Well, Bird has kind of been a wild man back there returning punts. He's been very exciting. He sees a gap there and eludes two, three tacklers. And finally, Johnny Curtin, who's a big dude, 280 pounds, catches up to him. There you see Roper on the sideline, still out of the game, congratulating his teammate, Jason Williams. The fake zone, wonderful fake by Masoli, and gets it out in a hurry. Even fools the camera. Take a look at this touchdown pass again, and Masoli got it to him in a hurry. Well, they do a nice fake here, but you're going to see Williams up here. These defenders, I mean, there's nobody out on the perimeter to take Jason Williams. I mean, he's just unguarded, and everybody sucks in even more with the fake. Just an awful defensive breakdown for the Huskies. Big mistake on the perimeter. It looks to me, uh, as I look at the Washington sideline, I'll tell you this play. It's blunt, bumping off people. Look at this one by Blunt. And he's going to get the first down. They said he was tough. Guy out of Perry, Florida, but a recruit out of East Mississippi Junior College. One of those national guys that Mike milotti has been going out to get, including Justin Roper, a guy out of Georgia. He's been hitting the South pretty good, but blunt, very blunt with his actions running the football, and the guy he ran through is still down there on the ground. What a physical bat. The way these plays go in and the way they're called, Oregon is hurrying it up right now. And now it's Mazzoli. He steps up, throws, catch made by Mayo. Touchdown, flag down. And it's going to be roughing the passer, so this touchdown will count. Yeah, freshman mistake. You're going to see the contact on Mazzoli. Nice throw by Mazzoli. Wide open, Mayo. That was because Darren Harris closed on the wrong receiver when the ball went in the air. I don't know what he was thinking, but again, that pace that Oregon is running, and they were really hurrying it up there, really throws off a defense, especially a young one. There's Fouch, under pressure, gets the ball to Curse. Curse this time, not doing a little bit too much, loses the football. It is picked up by Marvin Johnson, and Johnson... Dropped it again. It was another fumble. And it looked like Fukuwafu picked it up. So, there have been some strange goings on here in the second half. This first, game was kind of unraveling. You first game that? when you open up in conference. And I'm not sure if, if Curse wasn't down when that ball came out. But the ball did come out, and, and no one forced that fumble. Well, they're getting it done. All three quarterbacks, I think, have been effective. They've gotten what they needed to out of a ball. Remember, Roper came out and looked pretty comfortable. He had the bad interception, but of course, a very nice dump pass to Terrence Scott for a touchdown in the first quarter. Soli's shown off his arm strength, and Harper's shown off his legs. Let's take a look at the young freshman. This is that option play. Again, freezing the defensive lineman and then just finding his way. A great knack for a freshman. I mean, look at all the different ways he twists and turns. Just sort of finds his way into the end zone. And very courteously handing the ball to the official. Yeah, he's uh, got very good feet, very good moves. Looks like a grown man down there. Yeah, he does. Just Gee. a true freshman. You know the cool thing about having an O for a symbol? You learn to see endless potential everywhere you go. The University of Oregon.